ओके नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज एस्टोरॉइड एक्सप्लोरेशन ओके नाउ प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस टर्म अपोफिस अपोफिस इज गोइंग टू कम विद इन थर्टी टू किलो थर्टी टू थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स ऑफ द अर्थ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाइन दिस वॉज वाइडली रिपोर्टेड अक्रॉस ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट आउटलेट्स ओके नाउ दिस विल गिव बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू कम वेरी क्लोज ओके इट इज गोइंग टू गिव एंड दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर एस्टोराइड ओके वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ एस्टोराइड एक्सप्लोरेशन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू ऑफर स्पेस एजेंसी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरचुनिटी to understand and study this from a very close distance the distance is within 32000 kilometers okay an asteroid of this size comes this close only once in about 5000 to 10000 years so this is a very rare occurrence in 2029 okay again attached is the image of ryugu from hayabusa to okay now when you read about ast asteroids etc so again in prelims you would have also maybe read about the bennu asteroid there are also nasa specific missions for the asteroids okay for example there is a dart mission which is again re related to deflection of these asteroids okay then for example when i'm Uh, just a second we'll just write down the facts for example we're talking of bennu so nasa has what a very famous osiris rex okay so if you were to write so this is the most important apophis is was the asteroid in news other than that there is ryugu taken by hayabusa there is a bennu asteroid by osiris rex this is the basic factual knowledge and the context but of course you, you can be asked a more detailed part here okay again what is the significance of this asteroid ex exploration and then of course what are the certain challenges associated with it okay significance is that of course this will help you in scientific research so you will learn about your asteroids okay we would also in these asteroid exploration missions also learn about the composition based on the observation so from a scientific assessment point of view we also get better understanding of our solar system so that is one then for example nasa had a dart mission etc we also get to understand from these asteroid exploration missions the impact risk assessment let's say in one of the scenarios what if they are going to hit okay so even this impact assessment would also be a very important outcome okay then resource utilization okay so here you can try to see water which is there metals okay i can even say rare minerals on asteroids okay for example european space agency in its mission is trying to even see that okay the resource utilization identification esa has the mission known as hera h e r a mission to do this exact particular part okay so even this is one thing that we can talk about okay then impact so impact risk assessment again this will help you in making the earth safe okay technological development so again these kind of missions will have a lot of innovation why so please note the design how the spacecraft has to be designed okay how the navigation has to happen because you have to prevent the asteroids from attacking okay and this whole part resource extraction so all these things have to be incorporated and in fact all these missions that i've told you be it the hayabusa 2 or osiris rex or the dart okay deflection related missions related to the asteroids have done this part here okay the significance associated with the uh, asteroid exploration okay so again this is one thing we can basically talk about okay then before we go to the next part here there are still issues okay so one issue or has to be that
there is a lot of radiation so do you have to have adequate avenues for protection from radiation this is the first thing that will happen here radiation shielding i will give you another example here for example there is a juno spacecraft so it has a mechanism for protection itself from or it has a radiation shielding okay the juno spacecraft the one which we were talking about okay so it uses this okay then any of these missions asteroid related missions they have to have they will have see for example juno is there related to jupiter okay so communications will be a challenge timely communication has to happen okay this is not going to be very easy then for example nasa's osiris risk so sample collection would be a huge problem to do it safely is going to be a huge issue why because you have micro gravity okay so this sample collection you have to do it at micro gravity levels and we can give here example of uh, the nasa's osiris risk it had deployed something known as touch and go mechanism for advanced level of sample collection so what is that other so this is again what it is again a technological development that you are able to get these samples okay but not every mission will be able to do so so sample collection is a challenge communication from the sample is also a challenge radiation protection again you need better advanced material uh, support okay so all these are issues in this because again it's going to be a very advanced mission okay so again you can even add let's say for a country like india putting money in this scientific assessment etc so this is going to be different okay right we can even add the hostile conditions all right